Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, as you can tell from the title of this video, it's an Etsy shop share. And the reason why I do this is because it's, I don't know, I'll explain. I had gone on to Etsy hmm, maybe over a month ago and I found this shop and the shop was in Canada and I ordered three things from it. But it did say, you know, coming from Canada um, with COVID and everything, it may take a little bit longer. I wasn't worried. You know, it's not like I needed what I ordered in a rush. Um, and so, you know, however long it took, it would, it, it was fine. And then um, I sort of forgot about it. And then I noticed it the other day when I went in to check something. And I was like, oh, okay. So it's about four weeks ago. And they said probably around four weeks it'll come. Um, and then I thought, you know, if I don't get it in a couple of days, I'll send the message, uh, message the um, Etsy seller. But it did come in the mail today. But it's really, really strange. And I don't know if this has ever happened to anybody. Um, hold on. Let me. Oops. Oh, I lost one piece. Oh, no. Here it is. Okay. So I'm just going to put down for now the three things that I ordered. But each thing came in like a separate wrapper. But, and if you can see, like, oops, there's some of my stuff. Like, so it has my name and everything. But everything else is, I think, in Chinese. So, I mean, I don't think it came from Canada. So it was the, here's the three things I ordered. They all came, and then they came in um, this bag here. And I can see, I mean, this is all, like, this is the post office address, 51 Willow Street. Um, but then it's weird because it says the return address is Kentucky. And then that... There's this, I'm assuming this is the company name from Kentucky. So I don't know where Canada came in. So I'm so confused where this stuff came from. And then to top it off, I went back in just to review the order. And I went to go click on the shop name. And then I got an error message that says, oops, something went wrong. And I was like, what? Because I saw what I ordered or, you know, I saw this stuff and then I felt like it wasn't. Like, I kind of remember what I ordered, but it was so long ago that I couldn't remember. So I wanted to click into each um, listing just to see, and it wouldn't let me do that. So it's so strange. It's almost like they got an order and then, like, they closed up shop. But then I still got this stuff. So <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I started taking everything out, but I thought, you know, let's do it together because this is a little creepy for me. So one thing I did buy is a stamp. And it's a very, and this is, I do remember this because there was like four or five um, images you could choose from. And I chose this because um, I want to use this kind of like on edges of pages and edges of tags. I wanted something kind of soft and just, you know, just for the edge. So that's why I got this. So I am glad that this is, you know, what I did remember. Now, the other two things I got were kind of like ephemera pieces sort of but I just I feel like I thought it was different but I can't go back in and check so I don't know so the first thing it's this stuff here um so it came in here I mean everything was wrapped in plastic and again I don't know where this comes from because I thought it was coming from Canada. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, but I mean, it's really interesting stuff. So I'm not disappointed what I got. I just don't remember exactly what I ordered aside from the stamp. So these pages here, I don't know. This is maybe like a four by six. Um, yeah, roughly a four by six, uh, but it's really neat paper. It almost feels handmade. And I don't know if you can pick up the, like you can feel the fibers. It's almost like a cross between handmade paper and maybe like mulberry paper. And then look at this. Ooh, again, same, like it definitely feels like it's handmade or something. So, I mean, this is really neat. I will definitely love using this stuff. And I'm thinking tags. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, I love this. 
And it's too bad too, because I would buy another pack because of the price and because this is really neat. And this uh, looks kind of like um, eco dye paper. Oh, wow. Oh man, I wish I could order more. I would definitely do it. Could you imagine this as a tag? That is so cool. Oh my gosh. I love this paper. Now it's going to be hard because I'm not going to be able to order more, but then I don't want to use this. Oh my gosh. So neat. Really, really neat. Oh, this is interesting. So these are just kind of plain sheets, which of course, you know, we always use. And then some, this is more like mulberry paper. And I don't know if you can see the fibers that go through it. That's really cool. And then this, this is like embossed. Huh. So that is definitely very interesting. I not disappointed at all. <laughs> Even though I don't really remember what I ordered, but that's okay. And then it came with these little labels. And I sort of remember these labels. Um, it says plant collection, daily records, name, characteristics, but I'm thinking tags, OMG, love these. Yeah. So there's though oh there's some more square ones so four square ones and then I'm assuming maybe f uh, three of these so they're kind of like a little tag but it's thin but that's okay and then a bunch of these so this is let me see um I don't know that's what it says on it my fingers are so dirty oh my gosh can you tell what I was doing? <laughs> um, neat. But I mean, definitely those would be um, perfect for like decorating pages or tuck spots or, you know, stuff like that. So again, I don't remember exactly what it was that I ordered, but I really like whatever this is. Um, but it's too bad that I won't get to order more. Okay, so let me put those back and then let's take a look in this one because that one is kind of interesting to me. All right, so this one came in a little, kind of like a little vellum. Hmm. Oh, is it stickers maybe? Because I see, hold on. Sorry, I have to hold it close to my face. Uh, I thought it was stickers. Maybe not, though. Oh, yeah, it is. It's stickers. Oh, neat. Okay, so let me just see if I have... Here, we can look on here. <laughs> see? It's like a sticker. So we have some... And they're all bows. Different shapes of bows. I should have a better... Hold on. Um, do, 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 do. I wish I had like a plane. Where are my, well, I guess, I think let's try using this. See if we can see better on this. Sometimes with a busier background, it's a little bit harder to see. Okay. So if you can see here, see just some bows, um, like that. And they're all stickers. And I'm assuming these are stickers too. And these are like frames little doily pieces so these will be fun to piece it looks just like pieces of lace oh this is neat i've never had stuff like this before um i mean i'm assuming i'd use it to decorate the pages and stuff so i i hope you are able to see this stuff nope because they're come on focus 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 hello huh why isn't it not focusing? Oh, maybe because there's a glare. There we go. Okay. So some more bows. I'm standing up now just so I can see. So it's like doilies and ouch. These little, that's kind of neat. All right. So there's that. And then what is this? Oh, so I wonder if this is a sticker too then. Sorry, again, I'm just holding it closer to myself so I can see. Because I don't know if it's a sticker or not. Hmm. It feels like it is, 
but at the same time I kind of feel like it's not well either way this would be kind of neat to do like as um, a pocket or something and then you can slip something behind there so we have two of those here's the other frame and then the oh these are really neat I love the images on them look at that one oh it's just my style the roses look at the old scissors oh my gosh this is beautiful love oh goodness and again perfect for tags and stuff oh look at this one this looks like a napkin actually i feel like i've had a napkin like that oh i love this one. Oh gosh look at that right up my alley love it so again not disappointed just a little confused um i really wish i could go back and remember what exactly it was in my order um because i don't know if i would normally order something like this but i might have i mean because what happens sometimes to late at night when i'm lying in bed or something and i get some great idea you know to go online and look at stuff i end up buying things that I don't know if I wasn't as tired <laughs> that I might buy normally, um, but then also I get some really cool things sometimes, especially off Amazon. I'm like, it'll, a package will arrive, and who ordered this? Oh, I did. Oh, why? Oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> so, I mean, this could have been one of those times, but I really feel like, especially when I order something from Etsy, um, I always like to make sure what I'm ordering um, because, you know, you always want to sort of give a shout out to the Etsy shop. And I don't always do it, and I really should start doing it. Um, but going forward, I am going to. Because in the past, I have ordered things. But sometimes it's just one or two things, and then I just don't make a video for it. But I really should, because it is really nice to promote other um, small businesses. And there might be something that excuse me you were looking for and I'm posting it and you're like oh my gosh you know so um, yeah going forward I'll definitely do that but again like I said not disappointed with what came I mean this one I remembered but these two it's so funny I don't know I don't know if I ordered them or not but either way I'm glad I did because <laughs> they're really really neat so so yeah who knows so this whole mailing thing and coming from Canada as opposed to maybe coming from China. I don't know. So it's definitely a fun story. I don't know the origin of my items, but um, if you've ever experienced something like this, you know, let me know in the comments because I'm wondering if it, you know, happens more times than, um, than I realize. But I hope you liked my little showcase of what I did receive. And again, I'm not going to leave the link to the Etsy shop because you can't even go into it. And I've tried on my phone and my computer, like just think maybe different places it would let me in. But no, nothing. It just says, oops, we, oops, something went, went, something went wrong. So I'm not going to put the link in the description box. So, you know, if you click on it, it'll happen to you too. But anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.